What is a true fact so baffling? It should be false. There is a 1 in roughly 5.2 to the 61st power chance that if you were to slap a table, all of the molecules in your hand and the table would miss each other and your hand would go through it. Story time. I learned this fact from a deep intellectual conversation with my engineering class two years ago, so there very well could be some kind of detail I'm missing here, but nonetheless, what I said is theoretically true. There used to be a radioactive energy drink called Raditha that was in the US market for a decade from 1918 to 1928. Some of the more prominent users had to be buried in lead coffins. Giant squids have a donut shaped brain so their esophagus can run through the middle. If they try to swallow too large a bite of food they can get brain damage. You could take away all of Wayne Gretzky's goals that he scored during his career and he would still be the all-time NHL points leader off his assists alone. Bonus Gretzky fact, he and his brother own the record for being the highest scoring pair of siblings. Brent had 4 points in his whole career. The youngest mother to give birth became pregnant at 4 years old. She's still alive and resides in Lima, Peru apparently. Dina Medina had a rare condition whereby her body went through puberty very early making it possible for her to conceive a child. Her son was born via caesarean section when she was 5 years and 7 months old, and was raised as her younger brother. The father was never fully confirmed, though suspicion fell on male family members. The girl herself obviously had no clear recollection. To give birth, that qualification implies something so much worse. If a gorilla looks grumpy, it's because they are relaxed and at ease. The USA is the third most populated nation on earth. If you were able to add 1 billion people to the US population today, it would still be the third most populated nation on earth. The gravity of black holes is so great that it literally bends light around the black hole, so that if you could somehow stand close enough to a black hole and look straight ahead, you would actually see the back of your own head. Greenland extends east of, west of, south of and north of Iceland. A morbidly obese person can survive with absolute starvation without any sickness or feeling ill. Under close control, there have been studies since 60s. There is a patient in 1973 who went under a 382 day starvation diet for therapeutic purposes under close control with only vitamin and mineral supplements and water intake without protein, carbohydrate or fat intake, no food at all dropped from 207 kilograms to 88 kilograms and maintained it. After a follow-up checkup five years later, the patient was 96 kilograms. Stabilized, prolonged fasting had no ill effects. If anybody is curious about the article, the PubMed ID is PMC 2,495,396. Keep in mind for anyone tempted to imitate, Multiple others attempted this after him and wound up dead. Do not try this at home. People were deliberately infected with malaria to cure their syphilis, and the man who developed this treatment Julius Wagner Joreg received the Nobel Prize for it. The extremely high fevers of the malaria infections killed the syphilis bacteria. Then the patients were cured of the malaria using quinine. Quinine is the reason tonic water glows under black light. Till tonic water glows under black light. The life of Frayn Selleck, the luckiest and lucky man in the world. January 1962 Frayn is riding on a train through a freezing canyon when it fell into an icy river. All 17 other passengers died while he escapes with a broken arm and hypothermia. 1963 on his first plane trip he was sucked out of the plane's door and landed in a haystack, unscathed. 19 other people were killed in the crash. 1966 he was riding in a bus when it skidded off the road into yet another icy river. Four passengers drowned while he only received some minor cuts and bruises. 1970 his car's engine burst into flames while he was driving but he managed to escape before it exploded. 1973 in yet another driving incident, his car's engine was doused with hot oil from a broken fuel pump. This caused flames to shoot through the air vents, singing off all of his hair. He was otherwise unharmed. 1995 he was hit by a bus but only sustained minor injuries. 1996 to escape a head-on collision with a United Nations truck on a mountain curve. He swerved into a guardrail that broke on impact. To save himself, he jumped out of his car's open door and grabbed onto a tree branch as he watched his car plummet off the cliff. Suffice to say the guy had a complicated relationship with the Grim Reaper. He also won the lottery I think. Yup, in 2003. 
he won one dollar and ten cent mill in us dollars in 2010 he gave the rest of his money to friends and family as he wanted to live a more frugal life his car's engine was doused with hot oil from a broken fuel pump this caused flames to shoot through the air vents idny but this made me laugh so damn hard that's completely insane muttering here we are fine go again with this sh giraffe seat bones when i was in africa we were legit surrounded by a family of 12 giraffes then one bent over and picked up a gazelle carcass looked dead into our eyes as it ate its leg it was so effing creepy taser is actually an acronym for thomas a swift's electric rifle t-a-s-e-r island was an net exporter of food during the great potato famine that's what caused the famine the brits exported all the food and the irish were left with only one small kind of potato for themselves which then was afflicted with disease. More people died making the Vita rockets during WW2 than were killed by them. Another fun fact about Vita rockets. Germany was facing a large issue with rocket fuel shortages during the project because people kept drinking it. The fuel was made from 70% ethyl alcohol and 30% water, distilled from potatoes. It was the most economically viable fuel at the time, since they were already very low on other fuels. To stop workers from drinking it, they denatured the alcohol, essentially poisoning it, but people kept drinking it anyways and getting extremely ill. This simply caused people to start leaving the V2 program, suggesting that they were only in it for the free alcohol. This also means that any alcohol over 70% ABV is stronger than actual WW2 rocket fuel. Its SARS fail rate is over 80%. I personally know someone who in his carry-on accidentally packed a loaded handgun, made it on the plane, and was so freaked out when he landed, he UPS'd it back home and took a Greyhound bus after his trip. I know a dummy that flew internationally with a handgun in his checked luggage, on accident but still a dummy hole. He left out of Florida heading for South Korea with a layover in Japan. The Japanese found it and he was arrested and spent over two weeks in jail. They let him go. A total friend of mine did the same with a folding knife. Switzerland has accidentally invaded Liechtenstein thrice in the last 50 years. On the first time in 1976, Swiss military got lost and ended up in Liechtenstein. So the Liechtensteiners offered them drinks like proper hosts. On the second time in 1992, Swiss military forgot that a certain observation post was actually not in Swiss territory but in Liechtenstein territory. So they just said sorry and forgot about it. Then again in 2007, the Swiss army got lost and entered Liechtenstein, but eventually realized they weren't in Switzerland anymore. Toto. So they turned back. Liechtenstein didn't even know this happened till the Swiss apologized, again, to which they basically said, no problem, bro, takeaways, the Swiss army are bad with directions, the Liechtenstein army people are chill brothers, according to Wikipedia. Liechtenstein doesn't have military, it has a police force that consists of 87 field officers and 38 civilian staff, totaling 125 employees. The color orange is named after the fruit, before, the color orange was called red, this is why people with orange hair are called redheads. Sharks evolved before trees did, trees evolved before the bugs responsible for rotting, that is, bacteria which could eat lignin and cellulose, did. Thus when they died, they just fell over in place and lay there instead of rotting. Over time the weight of the upper layers of tree corpses compacted the lower levels, which eventually became the coal we dig up and use today. An eyewitness to Lincoln's assassination at Ford's Theatre told his story on national television. Only four people have been to the Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the ocean. One of those people is James Cameron, the director of Titanic. Didn't he make the movie Titanic as an excuse to visit the actual wreck? From 1613 and 1620 a samurai traveled to Rome by way of Mexico. During this time, Shakespeare was still alive. Virginia had been founded for around a decade. Galileo was accused of heresy, and Pocahontas arrived in England. He met the Pope he was made a Roman citizen. His name was Hasekura Tsunenaga, and was the last Japanese person to officially visit Europe until around 1860. Is there a diagram or map or something of how that trip was made? Another fun samurai fact. Odin Abunaga had a black man as an official samurai. This was in 1581. Where exactly the man was from, 
Mozambique is most historians guess, and what his name was weren't recorded, but the Japanese gave him the nickname Yasuk. He'd come over to Japan on a Portuguese missionary boat. By all accounts he and Nobunaga got along great and he fought in several major battles of Japan's warring states period. Sadly, after Nobunaga's death, Akechi Mitsuhai declared Yasuk to be not a man but an animal and had him sent to a nearby Christian church that had been established by missionaries. There is no record of what happened to him after that. Man. Akechi is a refining a hole. President John Tyler, born in 1790, has two living grandsons. A similar one I like is that there is a living person who is the daughter of a US Civil War veteran, at least as of 2017, and she gets to draw a Civil War veteran's pension. A million seconds ago was week before last, the 24th of July, a billion seconds ago was 1988, 1987, Ed, made some rounding errors, we're looking at November, 1987, never thought of large numbers like this before. Kinda puts some people's wealth into perspective. There was this French guy named Terror in the late 1700s that could eat anything, in any amount. He was able to eat a quarter of a cow on one day and ate dinner for 15 for one meal when he was being tested. He was even able to swallow an entire eel, with bones included, without hesitating. When he went to the military service, they used him as message transport. But after being captured he went back and tried to find a cure. In the hospital where he was staying, he was suspected of eating a baby so they kicked him out. He was average weight and when he died a few years later they could see inside his stomach just by opening his mouth. This was almost definitely an alien pretending to be a dude. They suspected him of eating a baby. He was caught multiple times eating corpses in the morgue I like. Terror. Look at me. Did you eat a refined baby? Mike the headless chicken lived without a head for 18 months. I live in the town next to where this took place. They now have a festival every year remembering Mike. A 500 pounds, cigarette smoking, beer drinking brown bear named Wojtek was enlisted and served in the Polish army during WWII. Private Wojtek helped the Polish win the brutal battle of Monte Cassino, and was even promoted to corporal. Following the war, he retired in Scotland. Amazing share, I will name my firstborn son Wojtek. Wojtek is a totally normal Polish name so, Polish people will just assume he's Polish. Cheetahs can't roar, but they can meow like house cats. Where is this legit? Googling now. Cute, then scary. If every single person on the entire planet took part in a rock paper scissors contest, where everyone paired up and played, losers were knocked out and winners stayed on ETC, you would only have to win 33 times in a row to beat all 7.53 billion people on the planet. We did this for a room of almost a thousand people. It was bizarre and awesome. When you lost, you had to follow the winner and cheer them on. It quickly turned into a room full of high schoolers yelling their heads off. One of the girls at our school was the runner-up and she said it was the most exhilarating and uplifting yet crushing moment of her life. The longest time between two twins being born is 87 days. I see these threads a bunch but this answer has me interested. Gonna look up the source on that one. Kilkenny, Ireland. Gave birth to twins Amy Ann and Kate Marie. Katie Elliott 87 days apart. Making them the twins with the longest interval between their births. The twins were born at Waterford Regional Hospital. Amy was born prematurely on the 1st of June 2012 and Kate followed on the 27th of August. Guinness World Records. There is no universally accepted definition of vegetable. It's a cultural and culinary term. And varies from place to place. If my son hates it, it's a vegetable. Problem solved. In chess there are over 9 million variations after just 3 moves each. 288 billion different possible positions after 4 moves each. In a complete game there are more possible positions than there are electrons in the observable universe. Yet it's still the Sicilian every game. There were more planes destroyed in World War II than there are. Currently intact. Planes on Earth today. I mean everyone was making a shtun of planes. A shtun of shtai planes. Commercial airliners nowadays are pretty sick and in terms of military planes. The dominant air force in the world is taking a quality over quantity approach. Despite also having quite a few but yeah. Saddam Hussein was an erotic romance novelist in his spare time as the dictator of Iraq. Source. Is that why his character is such a romantic in the South Park movie? Come on. Go I I I. 
there is an extremely rare condition called stone man syndrome. It causes any smallest damage done to tissue to regrow into a bone. Speaking briefly, people affected by this sickness slowly turn into living statues as they get older. Wikipedia. Surgical removal of the extra bone growths has been shown to cause the body to repair the affected area with even more bone. I'll never sleep again. Adult patients eventually have to decide on what position they wish to predominantly take for the rest of their lives. This was creepier for me. I saw a documentary on that once. One advanced sufferer had to explain to a young girl with the syndrome that at some point she was going to have to make a choice be frozen forever standing up or be frozen forever sitting down. And the pros and cons of both. Utterly chilling. What's the pro to standing? Sitting you can at least get wheeled around in a wheelchair. My neighbor has this condition. She is one of about 800 people to have it. I have watched over the years as she has gotten minor injuries. Reduced from walking with a cane to being unable to move out of a special kind of wheelchair. It's a really sad disease. But she remains one of the most positive people I have ever met. I worked with a kid who had that. He was wheelchair bound. Unable to play with his primary school friends. And his jaw was starting to lock up. So feeding was about to become impossible. Absolutely heartbreaking. If you're launching from Earth, the most difficult place to reach in the solar system is the Sun. The reason for this is that to fly directly into the Sun you need to first launch from Earth, and then remove all of your orbital velocity around the Sun. Anything less will just put you into a different orbit around the Sun rather than directly into it. The amount of power required for that to do it directly is basically impossible currently. As an alternative you could, for relatively little power, fly all the way out to Pluto distance, slow down much less, and then fall back into the sun. The trade-off being the travel time is now about 90 years. There are other in-between paths that will could get you there for different balances of energy and time but all of them are tougher than getting basically anywhere else in the solar system with an equivalent balance. There's a mission currently traveling to study the sun, the Parker Solar Probe. It won't be flying directly in, but plans to make the closest passes than any probe ever has. It's going to make 7 passes by Venus to shed speed so it can get closer and closer to the sun. The full flight time is planned as just less than 7 years. As of this post they are 1 week shy of a year in. Tell that to all the Kerbins I've melted in KSP. The Planck scale is the smallest known unit of measurement. If you were to expand a single atom until it was the size of the observable universe, about 92 billion light years in diameter, a single Planck unit of this scale would be about the size of an average tree. If you earned $1 every second, it would take 2921 years to have more money than Bill Gates. Every 2 minutes, we take as many photos as all of humanity took during the 1800s. Spearfish, South Dakota holds the world record for the fastest recorded temperature change. On the 22nd of January, 1943, at about 7.30 a.m., MST, the temperature in Spearfish was 4 degree F, 20 degree C. The Chinook wind picked up speed rapidly, and two minutes later, 7.32 a.m., the temperature was plus 45 degree F, 7 degree C, above zero. The 49 degree F or 27 degree C rise in 2 minutes set a world record that still holds. By 9 am, the temperature had risen to 54 degree F, 12 degree C. Suddenly, the Chinook died down and the temperature tumbled back to 4 degree F or 20 degree C. The 58 degree F or 32.2 degree C drop took only 27 minutes. If you shrink down our sun to the size of a white blood cell, the Milky Way galaxy would be equal to the size of the continental United States. Space is huge. Stalin, Hitler, and Freud all lived in Vienna at the same time. Imagine a sitcom with them all as roommates. Damn it Stalin stop eating my food. It is our food Freud. I will stop eating it when you stop banging your mother. When MT Everest was first measured it was exactly 29,000 feet. It was reported as 29,002 because exactly 29,000 was not believable. I'm picturing someone standing at the bottom with a tape measure and someone running all the way up with the other end. Even if 99% of Earth's population thought you were unattractive, 76 million people would still find you attractive. Nintendo was founded in 1889. Before video games, Nintendo ran sex hotels in Japan. To be fair, that was just one of many businesses they owned. 
and definitely not the main one. They mostly produce playing cards and toys, though they dabbled in other businesses, like taxis or the love hotels mentioned above. So they went from encouraging sex to keeping it away, didn't they start off as cards? Yes Hannah Fuder. According to Wikipedia, they still make them in Japan. GPS satellites have to compensate for time dilation, because time runs at a different rate in orbit. We live many times closer to the last dinosaur than the first and last dinosaur did to each other, and Cleopatra lived closer to the first man on the moon than to the time the pyramids were built, and there were still living woolly mammoths when the pyramids were being built, that's a trip. 17 inch pizza is bigger than to 12 inch pizzas. If sound could travel through space, the roar of the sun would be deafening even though it's 93m miles away. Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809 and the first dinosaur fossil was discovered in 1819. This means that he went his early childhood without going through his dinosaur phase. Horses can't vomit. Rats are also unable to vomit. This incidentally is why rat poison works. They have no way to rid their bodies of it before enough builds up to kill them. Neither can giraffes, nor guinea pigs. The phrase plastic surgery has nothing to do with the material. Plastic surgery as a field predates the development of plastics by 70 years. The two terms simply share a Greek word root meaning sculpted or reshaped. When a woman with breast implants is cremated, the implants will melt into goo. It drips to the bottom of the furnace, and needs to be cleaned up once cooled. This almost sounds like a medieval method of testing for witchcraft. I'm picturing a man sifting frantically through ashes. They were real. Real. A black widow spider's web is 12 times the tensile strength of steel. To scale, the distance between a nucleus and orbiting electron is 16 times longer than the distance between the Sun and Pluto. There's a universe inside us. There are many 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 universes inside us. If Earth was a basketball, to scale the moon would be a tennis ball. It would orbit around 7.5 meters away, which is a lot farther than most people think. If the nucleus of a hydrogen atom was a tennis ball, to scale the electron would orbit at about 2500 meters away. There is no ball small enough to compare to how small electrons would still be at this scale. The smell of freshly cut grass is actually a distress signal. It's the smell of the grass releasing chemicals to save itself from injury. The record for most children born to one mother is 69. To the wife of Fyodor Vasilyev. B. 1707 C. 1782. A peasant from Shuaia, Russia. In 27 labors, she gave birth to 16 pairs of twins, 7 sets of triplets and 4 sets of quadruplets. Not sure what's more impressive, having that many children, or considering it's the 1700s, living through it, would be interested in how many of the kids survive too. To the wife of Fyodor Vasilyev we can't even name her in her own world record. You see your nose all the time, but your brain just ignoring it. Well not anymore. Thanks, my nose is actually annoying me now. The Tyrannosaurus Rex lived closer in time to us than it did the Stegosaurus. Yeah, cause it was afraid of those spikes. The Thagomizer. Oxford University predates the Aztec Empire by over 200 years. And, for fun one of my favorites. Woolly mammoths were still around at the time the Great Pyramids in Giza were built. For some reason, woolly mammoths were still around at the time the Great Pyramids in Giza were built doesn't surprise me nearly as much as Oxford University predates the Aztec Empire by over 200 years. Harvard didn't teach classes in calculus when it was founded because it wasn't discovered yet. Your chances of winning the lottery are the same as your chances of correctly predicting the second an animal chosen at random will sneeze within a 9 year period. There is no good metric for the number of languages on earth. This is mostly because linguists cannot agree on what constitutes a new language and what constitutes a dialect of an existing language. The best current metric of how many languages exist is the number of translations of the Christian Bible. Fun little anecdote about the Bible translations into obscure languages. A missionary from our church works for a mission that translates the Bible into languages heretofore untranslated and adapts the books and chapters into an audio book app. He was in a taxi in Kenya and asked the driver what his language was. The driver told him in English that he spoke Swahili. The missionary pressed him and asked if he spoke a local tribal language. 
The driver said he didn't reference an obscure language he was sure the missionary wouldn't know. The missionary pulled up that language on the app and started playing the audiobook from some passage in the Bible whereupon the astonished driver proclaimed that's my home tribe's language, and that's my cousin's voice. Just a funny little story that your comment reminded me of, I'm not Christian, nor do I speak Swahili, but I can sing the Lord's Prayer in Swahili. Thanks Sif for. When a guy comes his seaman travels at 28 miles per hour, which makes it illegal in a school zone for two reasons now. 